Hydroflex is a fantastic project. It's a great partnership between industry and academia. So we at the University of Birmingham are hugely proud of this partnership working with Porterbrook and a number of other suppliers to develop the UK's first hydrogen train. This train was originally a dual voltage AC and DC train and we worked with Porterbrook to turn that into a hydrogen enabled train so effectively it's an autonomous rail vehicle and it does that using a hydrogen fuel cell. Systems work pretty much as a hybrid system with the fuel cell also being able to power the vehicle as well as charge the batteries and the batteries are there to assist in taking the load on the vehicle giving it a good harmony between the two and allowing us to take power and traction. Hydrogen is the future um, because it can be produced from sustainable means so we can completely remove uh, the need for using fossil fuels in the rail industry and provide autonomous traction for the next generation of rail vehicles. We're really excited to be running this here at the Quinton Rail Technology Centre. We have had the announcement of the first of a kind funding from Innovate UK which will see us undertake mainline testing on the UK railway network later this year. This project has been really important in terms of bringing the rail industry up to speed with the technology, showing that it can work at this scale and uh, upskilling the, the rail industry. Uh, so I think in the next few years we could certainly see a fleet of this operational in the UK. Doing projects like this, using innovation like this, convincing people this is the right thing to do, has to be the way forward. We've got to be smart about the way that we spend money. Anything that we can do to lengthen the life of the assets that we've got and anything that we can do that environmentally pushes things forward has got to be seen as a good thing. As a university centre, we're particularly pleased that we can develop and deliver with Porterbrook, a product that is going to be transformative for the UK railway and deliver on decarbonisation, which is what the railway needs to do in the coming years.